And when it joins, then it continues to wander. So in both the cases, mind is continuously wandering. Why it is wandering? Ask yourself. No, I have a lot of things to do. I'm fully busy. Really? How many years you have been busy and how long you will be busy? We don't think in this way. The entire Eastern wisdom helps us to think in a right way. Now, you see, knowledge of the self applied life offered to the existence dissolves attachment removes sins these are the first five steps these are the first five steps lays a very strong foundation for the journey <clears throat> uh, I'm not able to reframe, and uh, I would say I'm not able to exactly uh, put it into the words, but still I will try. But by listening, you will get a feel of Prarabdha, of past impressions, and the journey. So I'm comparing side by side. <clears throat> it is this one story, a story to repair my PC. You know, I sent it to Best Buy. They spent two weeks and they they checked almost everything. That is what they claim. So we have, I'm simultaneously comparing, we have anxiety, we have duality, we have reaction, anger, and hesitation in our life. <clears throat> we check everything, <laughs> but still we don't find a solution. We claim we are intelligent. Two weeks of repair, can you imagine? checked every part, reinstalled all the software and applications. So when we have those problems, we go to the expert. Oh, it is anxiety. Oh, reaction. Oh, they categorize them and they say, take these pills and do's and don'ts and you'll be okay. Not knowing the real self, we, we will be in ignorance, will cause attachment, then delusion, then suffering. So I was a little bit attached to this PC. If it is not working, how can I give those sessions? Do you see that? I brought back the PC. I started working and it is still hanging. It is still hanging. Last week also, anyhow, it worked or it may hang. I don't know whether it will. So we, our life, we hang in our life. We, we, we are, we get carried away by some thought, idea, uh, tension, hesitation, duality, expectations. When the expectations are not met. But my mind constantly continues to gather those impressions. Now see what the mind will think. Mind said, OK, we have to replace it. It has been four years now, so I have to replace PC. PC, it will cost money. I do not have, but I have to give lessons. You know, see these thoughts. It is must. Do you see what the mind sees? I believe you will get it what the message I want to give. The mind says, oh, I have reacted, but I said sorry. Now you see, I'm comparing. 
mind says, oh, I reacted, yes, to you, but I have already said, uh, sorry, by hurting my ego. Do you see that? I hurt my ego because I see the condition and environment with the people, and I said, sorry, by hurting my ego. So I carry forward those impressions. Now my mind says, OK, oh, I should not have reacted, you know. That guy is going to benefit me. But what happened? The past impressions are repeated. Mind went back to another expectation. What is that expectation? I reacted. I said, sorry, I hurt my ego inside, which I did not show. And then I had another expectations. Oh, that expectation will not be met. So who is frustrated? I am frustrated. I am frustrated. So two weeks of repair, brought it back, I started, and it is still hanging. It is all craziness. I'm just comparing and then come to the conclusion. Now another week. Last week was the another week. Idea of temporary solution. Now what happens in the journey of the Eastern wisdom, whenever you have the anxiety, duality, conflict, do nothing, maintain your awareness. When you maintain your awareness, you are not hanging like the computer is hanging. In that state, you separate. That is what the discernment and dispassion is. So when you have that discernment and dispassion, the higher consciousness starts working. <clears throat> Come back to PC, what should I do with the PC? Mind says, throw it, get new one. Not able to buy new one, so oh, let, us, let us do it in other way, but we have to buy. I'm comparing. We react. We are in anxiety. We start thinking, speaking, and acting out of I thought, but ignorance continues. If you don't drop, dissolve uh, the past impression, prarabdha will continue. We have a conscious choice. We have a conscious choice to drop it. The PC does not have a choice. So I also left, uh, you can say I left the hope. It doesn't mean that you are hopeless. When you are a seeker, you are not hopeless. You, your I false eye is looking for a solution. It is not able to find a solution. That false eye you drop. It doesn't mean that you become a hopeless. So I was just looking for it. So what happened, you know? I said, remove all the drives, external drives, only run the PC. It started working yesterday for five to six hours. I said it was hanging, but now it is not hanging. What is the problem? And then I connected the external drive. There was an error. It hangs again. I checked it. I removed the error from the external drive. It has started working. Computer is fine. We, we are always fine. <laughs> we unnecessarily create problem in our life. And it has started. I don't know whether it will hang or not. <laughs> but it has started working. So the whole night I kept it open. I wanted to see. It is because of the error in the external drive. 
and the guy spent two weeks. We spent years together. After 10 years, I still remember you insulted me. How can I forget that? I just want to convey the message. I think you got the message. This is what happens to our life, daily life. Problem is somewhere else, we are solving <laughs> some other problem, and that there the problem does not exist. Can I say sorry out of the gratitude and the feeling so that my ego is not hurt, but ego is dissolved? My expectations are gone. I see the truth. I become aware that is what the mindfulness is. Problem is somewhere else of our ignorance, of our attachment, of our delusion, of our anxiety, of our reaction, of our problems, of our pain and we are looking somewhere else. So, now ask yourself, I'm, I was asking myself that why I did not see the external drive first. It is not in the Google. I searched everything on the Google. <laughs> Uh, Dennis will agree. <laughs> but it is hanging, you know, it was, we said that it is GPU, it is your display adapter, and then they installed, reinstalled all the software application. Now think of this. You gave me the problem. You are responsible. You made me to react but I don't recognize my expectations are so high on you, which made me react. That I don't see. Or made me cry. Made me suffer. I believe you're getting it. This is what happens in our daily life, daily life. You have constipation, you, you, you have a problem. Someone says something, you have a problem. That is why the master says discernment and dispassion needs to be done. And the first five steps helps us to become a seeker, to recognize and get rid of these daily issues of problems of anxiety, reaction, expectations. Now the main conclusion. Seeker is one whose awareness, who lives into that awareness, means what? The likes do not remain likes. The dislikes do not remain dislikes. The mind has a problem, but that problem do not remain do not is not perceived as a problem. You remain a witness. That is the meaning of living from moment to moment. Are you getting it?
It is the summary of the first five steps. Hanging of the PC do not remain a problem in your head. Let the mind be totally, you cannot say even attached or detached. You have a problem with your body, with your relations. Can your mind live into that awareness where the likes do not remain the likes, dislikes do not remain the dislikes, pain do not remain the pain here, pain continues to remain also. Pleasure do, do not remain pleasure what happens. That is the moment of living in a moment. You can see clearly. You can see in depth. You can really understand. The master says it is only because of the ignorance. I was ignorant that it is the external right. Even those experts in the best part. <clears throat> PC cannot solve its problem, but we we have uh, we are living our life as if we can solve our problem. Means that false I can solve the problem. It cannot. You have to drop it. So the last message is the PC cannot solve its problem. We can because we have an intellect. We are a seeker. Seeker is very watchful of the mind and the intellect that claims, I know, I do not know, I do not want to know, I want to know. And it happens in your life also. Suddenly you have a revelation. Oh, this is the way. Let me do it. And problem is solved. So as a seeker, we start getting those. What you say in... Uh, you start getting some vibes. You start getting some revelation. Whatever you want to say. You get those revelations. Think, think of this. What it means, there is a problem. There is a habit of the mind to get hesitated. But as a seeker, that hesitation is no longer an hesitation. That is an external event in your life. Can you imagine? Can you think of that state of mind can you think of this so now look at those five first five steps which gives you some reflection on the story that i just told you what is the first step study eastern wisdom i should be aware of the eastern wisdom i should my focus is on the real self Studying Eastern wisdom to study yourself. Now I have to apply this. Mindful action. Second step. So mindful action, when I'm constantly doing, I become increasingly aware that false eye, which is supposed to be the controller and the ruler of my life, no longer exists. There is a vast in my mind and I feel as if there is no doership in me there is no enjoyership in me only there is a knower knower consciousness so what that is the third step you uh, I align myself with the environment with people with the things What happens? Fourth step, you release your attachment. I told you, attachment no longer remains the attachment. Likes do not remain the likes. 
fifth. So what happens when the attachment do not remain the attachment? What happens? You are able to bypass the unfavorable conditions in your life, which causes the problems, hesitation, reaction, duality, conflict. <clears throat> Example, I have an acute headache. What maximum you can do? Can you tell me? <laughs> we get emotional. Emotional means there is some sympathy. Sympathy means the mind is working in delusion and attachment. And any mind which is working in delusion and attachment cannot solve the problem. What maximum? You can give me a glass of water, you can give me the pills, you can suggest me the doctor. That's all. <clears throat> you cannot take my headache. One is dying, I cannot die for that person. But because of the outer event based on the past impression of our upbringing, every event, either it causes the neutral perception, it causes the pain, or it causes the pleasure. Three options are there. Something happens to the neighbor, okay, you know, we, why we should worry about it. Something happens to my house, I get worried. Something good even takes place, the pleasant. Mind should, mind should remain as it is. The outer event incident, people, relationship should not influence and dictate my life, my habit, my perception. That is the first five steps. So we have to follow this, we have to live into that five steps. Study Eastern wisdom. Mindfulness action aligned with the existence. So, at a lower level, we say aligned with the God. Same thing, release. So, when you align with the existence, you drop the attachment, you release that attachment, and then you transform your mind. Acronym is SMART. Acronym is smart. S means study Eastern wisdom. Complete the sentence. M means mindful action. Completes the sentence. That is the second uh, <coughs> principle. Third is mindful action. I'm crying with the pain and you approve. You come to me, you hug me and you also start crying with the pain. Is that mindful action? No, no, what the society will say, let, let the society go to hell, what they will say. I have to take care of myself. It doesn't mean that I don't have compassion, I don't have love, minus attachment. So I align with the existence, A. So the moment I align with the existence, I recognize, realize, that is R. I realize, I recognize, oh, mind. Why you are uh, acting like this? Why you are acting out of the ignorance? And once you know that, T, you can use the word as a transcend or transform. First five steps. First five steps.
you have to think of it. You have to think it again and again and again until they become a part of your life, everyday life, everyday life. Think. That is the beauty of this, these 40 steps. The Master used to give almost 50 to 100 hours of the talks only on the first step. He used to open up each and every aspect. I just compressing it. So think of studying the Eastern wisdom, how you are going to help your mind to absorb the teaching, one, to remember it, two, you should be able to recall whenever it is required. I have read 500 pages book. Take an example for anything, you know, take any subject. <clears throat> but when the demand comes, I am not able to apply it. Why? Because I forget the knowledge. Be why? Because I'm not aware. It will not work. So the first you have to you have to think and contemplate and reflect. You all are wise and intelligent in what are the possible ways that i should remember i should be able to recall and repeat in my life when challenges comes first step. that is so we are looking at the application part the second is we say that we have to perform our duty there are many ways you can express it. Do your duty means, do your duty means, how can you perform your duty? At present, only in this session, I am a teacher. So my duty is to teach, not to spend time in gossiping. Moment the session starts, I should. I should be aware. But I'm talking to my son, so I have to play a role of my father. That is my duty. Simply fine, simple example. So can you maintain that awareness that I have to play my role, different roles at different times with different people in different events? What you're doing, you're getting rid of the outer event which is dictating the mind, mind will become free. That is the role of action. That is the role of saying performing your duty you are ceo do the duty of the ceo find what we need to do so once you are clear you must do what we should not do we should never do it what is not to be done if you do it you will be punished going for a party to your friend one peg is good. Oh, let me have second peg, third peg, and after that you're dry. You're not mindful. Mindful of the action. At every moment in your life. It means we are doing our duty. We do not escape. We are not doing what we need not to be done. We know it's a fair example. Is it not? In every situation, simply simple way to know what needs to be done must be done. So you can also this is what is known as the good work must be done. Bad, bad work should be avoided. 
it demands mental awareness. Second step is done. Good work should be done. I come to you and I start firing and reacting to you. So that is the good work to be done. Why I fire you? Why I am reacting? Because I have my own anxiety. <laughs> I am reacting within myself. So I manifest it. Think. You have to contemplate. We are moving further. The third step is honor the existence who has provided me this body, breath, mind, intellect, ego. Did I tell the existence that God or existence or God, oh, did you provide me the intellect? No. It is, it is always available by default. But why it is available by default? I have to use it. Where I have to use it? in the application of discernment and discretion in my life to you will find the mind settles down into the calmness and peace it doesn't leave you so how the different religions have twisted or i would not say twisted but they have reframed they say worship daily Pray daily. Find God in the daily activities. Eastern wisdom says very clear. You have to maintain an awareness that you are the knower. You cannot be the doer and the enjoyer. So the religion says, okay, God is doing everything. Very subtle principle. But, but how to do it? Simply say in your mind, I'm not the doer of this action. Simplest thing to do. Before the action, you tell your mind, I'm not the doer of this action. This is, my, this is the role to be executed by the body, breath, mind, intellect. What will happen? Prarabdha will be kept aside, the past impression. You just do it, do an experiment. You see that. And the fourth one, so what is going to happen? Once I say, I'm not the doer, where is the attachment? I don't see the likes as likes. I do not see the dislikes as dislikes. I do not see the pain as a pain. I do not see. That is the meaning of dropping the attachment. Are you getting it? Attachment? No, no, I'm detached, you know. But still I'm suffering. <laughs> it will not work. It will not work. That is why majority of the people who treat this part, they leave it. And once what happens, once you do the fourth step, you, you are able to transcend that limited mind, which, which is responsible for experiencing the unfavorable condition in our life. Can you tell, can you ask anyone? Ask Elon Musk, ask Bill Gates, ask Warren Buffett, ask our President Biden that they do not have any unfavorable condition in their life. How my mind thinks, if I had enough wealth, I will have no problem. My mind creates a thought of loneliness if, oh, if I'm suffering, if I get a companion. Don't you see how 99% of the people have companion and they are suffering? <laughs> don't you see that? Why I don't see? Because I have not done the first four steps. <laughs> 
this mind can create an unfavorable condition by any event, by any relations, in any situation. Mind, I see the pain as a pain outside me. Like, even by listening, you will find, oh, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens. You have a headache and you take a cup, you're sipping a cup of coffee and watching the romantic movie that you like very much. Headache is still there. But the mind says, who cares? Let me finish this watching this movie. <laughs> we all have that experience. Tell me if it is not. But that that process, that act of watching the movie, having a sip of tea, is not going to drop my ignorance. These five steps will help. So today I have taken an excuse, so tomorrow I will find another excuse. So that is why I am living, my life is based only on excuses. I find some substitute, and that ignorance cannot be removed. I cannot find the real self by substituting, by finding those excuses. I have to get rid of these excuses once and for all. How many of us dare to do that? <laughs> You see, I raise a lot of questions. You have to answer. How many people dares to do that? If you dare to do that, you will be awakened. You'll be awakened. Close your eyes. Find out, be comfortable. Place of the body. Position. And instantly you become aware of the space all around your physical body. Do you see? What I discussed that likes do not remain the likes in my mind. Why? Because there is a space. When the space is not there, the mind has an attachment. That is the word attachment also means sticky. It sticks. Do you see why I uh, changed that? that become aware of the space all around your body. Find out the position and the posture and being comfortable looking at the entire body from the top of the head to the toes. But internally, you see, the solution lies not in looking at the body, being aware of the body, but the mind, change of direction of the mind is the solution. Computer, thank God, computer is still working. So the problem lies in the external drive, not in my computer. Do you see that clearly? The message is chains of direction in being comfortable. And then we get a little deeper. When I change the direction, I see the situation which causes the anxiety, duality, and a conflict is separate from me. That is what is being carefree is. 
you know, normally we we hear the word, oh, being carefree, oh, it's so easy, you know, it's, let us do it. No, it's very deep. Including the Pradabdha. Uh, it says, okay, Pradabdha pushes your mind to think like this, but you don't. <clears throat> oh. And then because you are comfortable, you are aware, and that is the best moment to continue and extend that awareness of a witnessing all the events outside. What is outside my real self are the six neighbors You have to just be aware of the world outside, whatever the thoughts, feeling, and emotions <laughs> pertaining to the world enters, become aware. So you are aware of the world, the sex neighbor. No situation, event, condition, pers person can influence or dictate my mind. It is, after all, it is the sex neighbor. The sixth house, sixth neighbor's house. It is too far. But the problem is my mind is deeply influenced and dictated by the sixth neighbor. Whoever, whosoever is outside this physical body is your sixth neighbor. Can I say including your honey, including your wealth, which we feel very dear, fifth neighbor, physical body. If it is really a neighbor, question comes, will I, do I, did I take birth or uh, will I die? I'm living on your mind. The mind in that state of discernment say absolutely not. And if it, you get that vibe, you are there. Third neighbor is the energy body, the hunger and thirst. Yes, I don't feel hungry all the time, but yes, I feel hungry. <clears throat> maybe two or three times, maybe four times a day. The food is available. I eat it and it is gone. Take it casually. Fourth neighbor is the mind. That is what I discussed in detail and repeated a couple of times. Likes, dislikes, pain, pleasure. Can you repeat in your mind? Pain remains the pain outside. Fifth neighbor. You see how these neighbors causes the clinging or attachment, or we relate with them and and so the five steps. Fifth neighbor is the intellect and strong likes and dislikes are here. Sixth neighbor is ignorance. All these activities causes the ignorance. Go back, example of the PC. Two weeks, third week, problem was somewhere else. Why I am not able to see it? Because of ignorance. That is the sex neighbor. Oh, that is the right moment. Sarvesham swastir bhavatu. Sarvesham swastir bhavatu. Sarvesham swastir bhavatu. May there be happiness for all. You're changing the entire perspective of the mind. Sarvesham, 
शांतिर्भवतु सर्वेशाम शांतिर्भवतु सर्वेशाम शांतिर्भवतु मेजर बी पीस you are not asking the mind if i take this pill or if i do this practice i will be in peace what you are saying is your mind clear the peace is my essential nature essential nature cannot be undone if it cannot be undone i am in stress so i have to discover peace that mental state awareness attitude whatever you want to say this will make you a seeker sarvesham purnam bhavatu sarvesham purnam bhavatu may there be completeness for all sarvesham mangalam bhavatu sarvesham mangalam bhavatu may there be a spaciousness for all so every moment we know it intellectually we are doing it practically we know that everything every moment is auspicious but now we realize om shanti shanti looking inside the forehead in the space om shanti om shanti and start breathing into the belly long deep and hissing breath mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. equal duration of the breath remember uh, during inhalation you expand the belly like a balloon and you squeeze it during exhalation inhalation like a balloon exhalation like you are squeezing long deep in the hissing breath we don't leave that practice we have to do couple of more active steps to go <laughs> deeper into so what knowledge plays a role in your breathing so your knowledge intellect says body should remain steady your intellect says i'm dropping om shanti your intellect recognizes that you are breathing long deep in the hissing breath into the belly and out of the belly your intellect is aware of the challenges the mind poses in there you apply the endurance every time you say no i will be doing it regularly i at present i have to do, i will be doing it with an endurance so that it becomes the joy of doing now you see that you are doing only three points but knowledge plays an important role if you are not doing with the knowledge then it becomes impulsive activity meditation cannot be impulsive and habitual long deep in the hissing breath continues om shanti continues stillness in the body continues who knows it who recognizes the mind intellect or mind i'm using interchanging so you should become aware aware from um speaking in the reference point
Long, deep in the hissing breath continues, Om Shanti continues, stillness in the body continues, endurance continues, so that it becomes the joy of doing it. And stop this. Pay attention to the flow of the breath. Check which flow is deeper than the other, or keep on your attention on both the nostrils. If so you are continuously aware which flow is less, which flow is more at the same time. Experience the changes. Experience the changes. At the same time, you are already aware the mind has withdrawn in sight. The mind that is withdrawn in sight can accept likes as you do not. Recognize the likes as like, dislikes as dislike. Why? There is no past memory which is linking to it. There is no attachment linking to it. Do you see that? Intellect has just said it, but it demands an extraordinary awareness. Oh, so in that extraordinary awareness, drop Om Shanti. When there is no past impression, mind is totally transparent, and you are dropping Om Shanti, it will take you very deep. Let us see. Even when you say Om Shanti, mind will give you an experience as if you are dropping very deep into the well or you are rising too high into the sky. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.
first impression, if your mind gets carried away by any any thought takes your mind away from the Om Shanti. So you recognize because of the past impressions. Don't fight with it. L oh, you remember, you recognize that remembrance and recognition, you may say, is a kind of a revelation. It Both are happening in the mind. To receive more and more of those revelations, you already know, we have to do these five steps. And now, move the mind inside the cave of your heart. Visualize the triangle of any color pointing apart. Move the mind on each side of a triangle, dropping on shanti clockwise and tight clockwise. Finding the sink. The moment you find the sink, so your mind says mentally, but mentally loudly. Mm, moving the mind, pushing the mind deep inside, because you have that level of separation. Is it? It is possible. And shanti, when the mind seemingly stops, and after that. You have to do nothing, you have to live into that state. Now we left everything on the existence. What is that existence? We are covering that. In our Saturday's session, Satachita Anand, I'm reminding you.
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti. Shanti, Shanti. Bring your awareness on the right hand, your awareness on the left hand. Lift your Buddha palms, place it on your eyes. Open the eyes inside the palms, know your experiences, bring the hands down. How are you, Dennis? Thank you for the lesson. I'm good. Um, as far as I understand, the past uh, impressions will continue in my mind, so they will continue causing likes and dislikes. But uh, uh, my task as a seeker to maintain awareness that these likes and dislikes, uh, first of all, not me, and second of all, they are not to influence the uh, purity of my experience yep. and purity of my mind. Uh, and as far as my meditation, it was very calm and peaceful, and it was kind of difficult to return to uh, still feeling some difficulties to to return from that state thank you beautiful beautiful just take that every day when we wake up in the morning until we retire to the bed this word from outside people even things even including the temperature constantly bombard impressions in my mind with a reference to the past impression. Now that reference is gone, for example. So the likes do not remain likes, because it is the mind who is experiencing. So will you be reacting? Will you be in anxiety? Nothing. Mind is blank all the time. Don't correlate, you know, empty mind is devil's mind. <laughs> so don't relate with that. <laughs> it is a totally different state of the mind. How are you, Brandy? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you for the lesson and the meditation today. I struggled a little bit with the empty mind, so to speak, um, during the meditation, but I appreciated your example of your computer during the lesson. Um, that helped me kind of frame uh, thinking about um, the reset that we need to do, I think. Uh, so I'm still working on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. That's a moment of, you know, so just think that that problem with the pc is not it is the problem of my own mind living continuously in a waking state in the world we don't have a problem in the deep sleep no i have this problem no i have this problem who perceives this mind Is this wall a problem? No. Yes, if my door doesn't open. <laughs> so I have to, I, we have to live into that awareness. Very good. How are you, David and Jerry? Thank you. Happy to Bali, by the way. Um, yeah, two, happy to Bali. Two things. Um, 
for me. One, uh, my awareness these days is um, around how many millions of thoughts and things that are out there spinning. And by focusing and understanding it, there, there, it allows me to kind of just step back from it. So that's been an observation I've had lately. Uh, and I just wanted to bring that up. As far as today's lesson, the, my takeaway from it is, is society is uh, fraught with what something I call conditional happiness. Um, I'll be happy when I get a new house. I'll be happy when I get married. I'll be happy when I get divorced. I'll be happy. And I think, you know, really understanding that and, and understanding people's reactions and actions around that has been very helpful to me lately. Uh, meditation was deep and um, like to Dennis's point, it was difficult to come out. Thank you. Beautiful. Yes, you see that we have to further, if you reflect on it, that if I will be happy if I get the house, if I'll be happy if I get the... So I don't inquire further. I'll be happy if I get this. I will be happy if my PC is working fine. So I stay there. I stick to that. That causes the likes and dislikes. That causes the attachment. That causes the delusion. I'm just giving an example of my PC, but you know, my mom, if you behave like this, then I will be happy. Dad, if you do this. son, long list. You know what we say here, uh, what we have, a bucket list, something like this. What we have in the bucket, we have everything, all the crazy stuff in the bucket. And we we have become we have so called we have become normal with that craziness are you getting it what i'm saying that needs to be removed and five steps can remove this how are you jerry <clears throat> thank you i had a, a subtle uh, shift in perspective i think um i i say i'm and believe I'm consciousness and peace. Um, but then I had also said that my mind is my instrument, my body's my instrument. And the shift for me today was that my mind, body, intellect is actually the instrument of the existence and the consciousness. Not And so just the shift was I took myself out of that as I was thinking about how I use it. I And now I the shift is that I'm allowed to be uh, the instrument of just simply consciousness and existence. And then with that, the excuses and the ignorance just drops off because everything from consciousness is righteous. So I'll know how to, I'll be used in that way. You are right, Jerry. It is so simple. Don't think it is complex. I said during the talk that you simply say that they are the instruments. I'm not the doer and the enjoyer. My sense organs are enjoying. My body is experiencing that pleasure, but I am not. I am simply a knower. Make it very simple. In that respect, the Eastern wisdom is extremely simple and easy. But the mind does not follow it. Mind goes back again into the same PC problem. And that causes a lot of challenges. No. You're right. It happens. <clears throat> How are you, Christina? It's totally different from your cycle. You. Yes, very. Um, I think I, I struggle with I would uh, having an attachment to wanting to sit here in meditation and you know all day long and not go out and do other things. So um, it landed for me today about it's like my body's duty to go and do. Um, and I maybe that will help with some of this piece because it's there is a sense of freedom then. Right. Only that will help. How will you know if you are not acting? 
if you are not doing different activities in your life, how will you know that you have a freedom of doing the work? Or just sitting in the... That is an attachment. I will continue to sit in meditation for 24 hours. So you are escaping from the activity. You are escaping from the action. You are escaping from your duty. How can you stay in meditation for 24 hours? You have to go to the washroom. You are, you are feeling hungry. You have to eat the food. You'll feel sleepy. So when the mind doesn't think, then what happens? Non-thinking causes the attachment. I'm making it more simple. No, no, but I'm thinking. No, you're thinking in the wrong direction. <laughs> so you see, the Eastern wisdom is setting the right way of thinking so that I have a right perspective. I'm just explaining in a very simple way which can be implemented in our daily life. How are you, Barbara? <clears throat> I'm good, thank you. Um, my takeaway with the computer was that when you um, let go of your anxiety, it leaves a space for your and for the answers to come. Yes, but it has to be done in these five steps. That is what our master discovered by simply intellectually saying it will not work. I have to do my duty all the time, every day, whatever the duty I have. I have to study and understand that I'm of the nature of the real self. So the false I does not bombard my mind with the past impression. It does not lead me to the emotional attachment or emotional dependence. My intellect is still free. And then I leave that I'm the knower, I'm not the doer and the enjoyer. Who is the enjoyer? And my sense organs, my body, but I'm not. What happens? You find that unfavorable conditions that experience both dissolves. These are the five steps we have. To, you have to listen to it. Think, just think that PC is one thing, but then there are many problems associated with the world is one thing mind perceives many problems and you can get rid of it we will meet on saturday that is all thank you very much namaste namaste thank you namaste, namaste. Thank you.